Hello everyone, welcome back to Airport CEO. The game has gone through an update. Uh, we are actually on version 22.0 now. Um, the biggest update that I've seen so far pretty much has been to the uh, tutorials here. Uh, so it's not, you know, manuals or it went to then help and tutorial or no. It went from manuals to tutorial to help back to tutorial again. Uh, so it's getting a little confusing on what that actually is, but uh, from what we can see, it's actually gonna be tutorial. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and cover that today since we kind of need to look into this and get some more information. So it looks like we've got small airfield, regional airport, and international airport, which is gonna be really cool. So we click on small airfield and at the top of it, I mean, obviously since we've been playing the game already, some of this is already completed, right? So prepare for construction, walks you through how to do your, uh, um, you know, all of your contracting and stuff like that, that we've already shown. Um, same with the air side construction on the uh, traffic pathways, taxi foundations and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's very nice that it's very clear picture wise on how that uh, how that gets put in here, right? Now the next part that we have in here is servicing five GA flights So now it's time to accept your first flight as this Time we or oh my gosh at this time we can only accept general aviation flights as we have not yet built a terminal Well, we kind of already have built the terminal um, So yeah so it looks like this actually has us going in and accepting general aviation flights first. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and let the game go on for a little. Um, from what I can see, these actually need to probably have, well this is going to put me in a bit of a pickle. Um, am I able to, is the service road able to connect to over here or not? If not, I'm going to have to have, I'm going to have to move these over here. Give me a little bit of a waste of money. It says, uh, I'm guessing this is for the service road aspect of it. So here's my question. Can I infrastructure service road, uh, asphalt? Well, apparently the service road can go over the taxiway. So let's let's hope and pray that that works, shall we? Let's see if that works, because obviously the service road, oh man, if it does, then that's gonna be kind of a waste of a road. It could have gone just this way. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see, uh, let's see about getting this built up here and see what happens. I mean, what I should have done was I probably should have just connected this down to here. But then again, I, I still have room for some general aviation stuff that can go in here. So that does seem to be working. It does seem to be working by the service road going over the taxiway. Kind of interesting. Um, but my question is, is that going to... Yeah, so now the uh, fuel trucks can get over here. Okay, good. Good. So that means that, uh, so that is done. So tip, general aviation are small private planes not carrying any passengers. Uh, they use the airport as a parking, uh, sometimes stay overnight. They're basic, they're good basic income source as they pay runway usage and parking fees. General aviation can only land and take off during the day. So that's good to know. Now, as for this, I'm not entirely sure why. We'll just dismiss that aircraft for now. Bye-bye. Not sure why that's saying that when we have a connection now. So, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, right. So, we're doing good on money. Um, we... Let's see. In order for this to be completed, we need uh, five... Service five general aviation flights. And then it's going to go into... Um, Fuel services, which we already have, all of that, I mean, you can barely see it, but it's in there, you know, we're all done with that. Uh, and then we have to refuel five flights. So I, I think we will be completely fine with that. Um, we won't have any issues with it. 
So let's get back into what we're doing over here. Let's get back into our airport here, shall we? So we have, we have some dirty passengers. I don't like that. <laughs> why do you gotta be making a mess? I don't like that at all. Uh, there's trash cans everywhere. There's, why are you doing that? I don't like when people trash my stuff. It's not nice. It's very rude. All right, so. Let's take a look at, see the refueling seems to be going well. I haven't opened this one yet. Why haven't I opened this one yet? Open stands. Can't because it requires taxiway connection. Oh, well that would explain why. Uh, let's see, taxi node and boom, done. Okay, so we have the taxiway connection and it should be able to open now, yep. All right, so that's gate B1. This is going to be gate B2, gate B-2. Okay, that is done. I wanna know how to open this up. I wanna make this bigger. I saw, there's a YouTube video somewhere that showed how to do that, but I don't know, I didn't actually, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm gonna have to look into that. Then again, I think what I'm going to end up doing, I'll use this as like my little test airport, <laughs> you know, just to kind of see the do's and don'ts of what I want to do. And then my next series, I'll make it a lot better. This is just like a learning thing and trying to figure it out and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I heard a bloop, which means I'm pretty sure that means that this is done. No, not yet. Oh, darn. So what else? Has anything else changed in this update? I haven't actually looked at the update yet. Hang on. Let's look at that. Um, now it says there's another update queued for it. Well, we'll look at that in a little bit. In, <clears throat> let's see. There's gotta be, there's gotta be something. All right, so here are the improvements that we have for this new update. So we have, Conveyor belt path caching, so that's been fixed. Uh, station ramp agents on cargo bay should be labeled as 2 to 16. Uh, they've redesigned the tutorial, which we've already seen. Uh, enabled multiple announcement icons on object to better highlight accessibility issues. Okay. Uh, service generic minor UI changes, increased GA aircraft taxi speed, and recurring flights. Ooh, recurring flights. Aha! And then there's a bunch of bugs that they fixed. Okay, so tutorials and recurring flights are pretty much the biggest thing that's come out of this update. Which is, which is actually pretty big. Uh, it's really good. Delete that. Uh, economy, contracts. Okay. Let's look at airlines. And how do we know if it's a recurring flight or not? Wow, there's a lot of airlines in here. Oh my goodness. Wow. So I'm wondering if it's the symbol. Let's see, contract proposal. Please review contract, following conditions apply. Five daily medium class flights recurring a medium stand and two check-in desks each, okay? Okay. And I'm guessing that this is just, please review the following, seven flights, okay, yeah. All right, so the reoccurring flights will appear with your um, little uh, multiple airlines that are on there. And it'll even say recurring flights. So this is saying that we need to have seven daily medium class flights requiring a medium stand in two check-in desks. Seven, wait, that's requiring, not recurring. I'm a big dum-dum. Um, I mean, I'm definitely gonna guess that that's what that is. There's one way to find out. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this day. This one is delayed. That's fine. Let's go to Tuesday. Okay, so that's gonna be small flights. So do we have, do we have a one star? Yeah, we do. 
Five flights requiring small stand. Relationship between airport and airline is dependent on yada yada yada. Okay, so we'll sign this one. So that's going to be Stripe Air. And we're going to look at Tuesday. And, oh yeah, see, look at that. It's, uh... Okay, so it's got the multiple, the multiple ones on there. And then... So is this going to be recurring... Is this going to be recurring every day at this time? Is that what that means? Cannot allocate flight here. Well, no... No kidding. I would have said something else, but... So if I confirm that one here... Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So accepted airlines, this one. So five daily light class flights. Okay, okay. So I have to complete it within seven days. So that means, so if I go back into flights, so SA-787 is here on Tuesday. It's here on Wednesday, it's here on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, I like that. Interesting. Very interesting. But I like how that can be set up in there. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to be able to, we're going to have to look at the gates that we have. And we're going to have to look at, we're really going to have to look at how we're scheduling these flights. And then we're also going to have to look at what gates do we want to have recurring and what gates do we want to have that we can play around with. You know, we can, we can have, um, we can just select the contracts that we want and put it in there on whatever we want to do. You know, and kind of stagger those out probably too. This will be really, this is interesting. This is very interesting, I like this. It's definitely gonna make you really think about what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it. You know, I, I'm telling you, when I first started playing this game, I wasn't too sure about it. I really wasn't. I was not too sure about how this was gonna work out. Um, but, it actually does seem to be working out really well. Okay. So the other thing that it had said was about the... These guys. About how they're labeled 2 through 16. I'm, I'm guessing... No, I don't know what that means. Uh, staff. Um, I want, I want the ramp agents, and it doesn't really tell me where they are. Working, go to staff room, stand still, working, don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, so these are fine now, which which I'm happy with, I'm fine with. And you know, when I think about it more, this does make sense, having a service road go across the taxiway. You know, when you think about airports and stuff like that, it makes sense that they do that. Um, right, so my construction workers are kind of piling up. I need to make them go away. I don't want to dismiss all of them. Uh, control, okay. Get rid of like 70 of them because I don't need that many people standing around doing nothing and getting paid for it. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. 
So have we completed, have we completed this now? Have we completed this tutorial part of it? Uh, service 5 GA flights. No, we have not. Why? Why have we not? Why? <laughs> Come on. Really? I mean, it's been like 15 minutes since we started this. We should have had that many by now. Oi. Let's see. Okay, let's look at, um, let's see, economy, airline income. Landing fees, parking fees. See, this is this is where we get some good money, is the parking fees. Um, rent, we're getting a decent amount of money. Um, sales cut, we're not getting anything. <laughs> we're just not getting anything at all because they're not selling anything. And that's mostly because we just don't have enough people coming in through here, you know? I mean, that's the biggest part of it. We don't have enough people. Um, right, so why is that labeled sad? Let's repair that, and we need to repair that. Okay. I'm definitely thinking that we're going to have to have another runway in here soon. I really do, because I uh, really don't think that uh, these two runways can handle all this traffic. Don't think that's really going to happen. But the problem with that is I don't really know where to go with that yet, so we're just going to have to kind of wait. I have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, operation notification. Um, bag for flight is stuck on conveyor belt. Locate. Why is it stuck? Uh, employee can't reach its work position. It's because he's in the break room and he's a dum-dum. Okay, so what if we do, what if we do this? Let's go to items, um, let me see, baggage, above ground belt, and then we'll just take it like that, to there, and to there. We'll just do that with it. That way it'll just go round and round in a circle until someone comes and picks it up. Okay. Yeah, these sales just aren't happening here in this in these places. I think I built them too soon. I do. I think I built them way too soon. Mm. This one gets completed in 18 hours. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see what happens. Is this going to unstick this uh, bag? Yeah, it is. So whose bag is it, though? Is it this guy's... Is it this lady's bag? Is it her bag? I thought that was a guy for a second. It's, uh... Okay, let's see. Given name, Teddy. Well, okay, so Teddy. But it's female. Okay, that's... Alright, interesting. Um, bag is for Teddy. Why is, uh... Why is Teddy not picking up his bag? It's <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, mark for rescue, mark for removal. So what's mark for rescue? What does that mean? What is what does mark for rescue do for me? Nothing. Uh, mark for removal. And I still have nothing happening. Okay. Oh, he took it away. Is he going to take it and destroy it? Is that what he's going to do with it? Let's watch him. He's <laughs> He has to go through security. And then he's going to come... He just took it and came to the break room with it. All right, then. Whatever. Whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to... Can I send you home? A am I able to make you go away? Because you don't, you don't have baggage anymore that you're waiting on. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, fine. Stay there, wait for your bag that is no longer there that we took away. Uh, okay. See, this is the one thing I don't like. I don't like not having any people in here. There we go. There's some people. There's a lot of people. Alright, so this check-in is for... It says no flight scheduled. That makes a lot of sense. So we have people here, there. Wow, there's a lot of people coming in here. Um, I need more janitors. Look at this. This is a mess. 
These people are just creating a mess. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's try and get some more trash cans in here, I guess. Um, so we'll put, uh, I'll put a trash can there. Another one there. 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 Just put some trash cans in here. See if that helps us any. Doubtful, but maybe. We'll see. Queue lines definitely aren't long enough. They're definitely not long enough. But, uh, that's alright. Alright, so it appears the pathway of the people, they come in, they go to the desk here, and then they just come out this way. Okay. Baggage seems to be doing well. Everything seems to be doing pretty well. Um, I think I've got, I'm hoping I have enough ramp agents. Fingers crossed. Let's check on the tutorial again. See where we're at with that. Nope, not yet. Not done with that yet. Wow, we're already like 20 minutes into this episode. It's amazing. It's going by pretty quick. I like it. Um, okay. So what are these people doing? So they're getting up, they're going to the bathroom, over here, okay. Do we have sales going on? People coming in and shopping or no? 841, kinda. I mean, they're kind of shopping. Not really. It's okay. I definitely do believe that uh, these areas right here are a little too big. <laughs> My little seating areas right there. Little, little too big. But that's okay. That's alright. I don't have anything assigned to that gate yet, so I'm not going to worry about it too much yet. So now the question becomes, where do I want to go next? What do I want to do? What are we doing here? Back in tutorial. Oh, yay, good. Okay, so we serviced our five GA flights. Now the only thing we have left to do is refueling um, five of them. <sighs> Which, that's going to take a minute. So if we go back, let's look at the glossary. That gives us nothing we need to know. Can't get into regional airport yet until until it lets me. Well, that stinks. All right. Well, what do we do next? That's like that's like the biggest thing right now. What do I do next? What am I gonna do? So I have it pretty much planned out to where I can put another one of these gates down here. Right? So I can do that. I've got... <clears throat> I've got a lot of empty space in here. You know what I could do? Ooh, that's actually a really good idea. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Can I do this area outside? Will it let me? A food area? Uh, cannot be outside of terminal. Dang it. So here's what I'm thinking, though. I'm thinking I do like a 24 by 24 room and put like a cafe or something in like right there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so foundation and then 24 by 24. Okay. So that'll be nice. That'll be nice to have a little, uh, little inlet, little cafe going on right there. And let's go ahead and make, can I make it a secure area right now? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to bulldoze that. I mean, I guess I really probably should put a fence in around this place, but, I mean, it doesn't do anything yet, so why do it? I don't, I don't see any point in doing it, so I'm not gonna. Until I absolutely have to. <laughs> Watch, the next time the game updates, they're actually going to implement that because I said that. And I'm going to have to scramble to get a fence built because everything is going to be unsecure. Oh well. Wouldn't be the first time it happened in an airport game that I play. <laughs> it's happened many a times before. Alright, so here's... Alright, so here's the next thing that I'm wondering. So, food. Uh, can I put the food in here now? Yes, I can. 
All right, so that's gonna give us a pretty big area. Sign a contract. So size is gonna be pretty good. Let's see, ZD's Italian kitchen. So we need six refrigerators and a cafe counter. Um, six refrigerators, one refrigerator, seven refrigerators, the bean, I don't like that. I, I think we're gonna go with uh, ZD's Italian kitchen. I think that'll be really good to have. I love Italian food. Love pasta, can't help it. Which of course my uh, body is saying something different. Like it, I like pasta, but it, it doesn't like me. It's uh, putting on a little extra weight, <laughs> eating all that pasta. So I kind of need to stop it, <laughs> but it's gonna be kind of hard to do, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, enough about that. You don't need to hear that. You don't want to hear any of that. All right, so items, and we're looking at a fridge display. It says I need seven. So if I do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then a cafe counter. Let's see, the staff area I think is behind it. Yeah. So I'll put the cafe counter there. And then in here, in here we're gonna put, let's put some sofas. See, that's the thing about this is like, we have the food areas available, but we don't have like, we don't have like seating and chairs and tables and stuff like that. We have sofas and armchairs, but we don't have furniture, like, you know? So I guess we're just gonna have to improvise. Um, so let's put uh, three sofas in there, and then we'll do another three there. And then let's get a little inventive with the chairs here. So we'll do a chair chair, chair, and that's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Let's get rid of those. Um, where'd that chair go? Give me the chair. Give me that chair. There we go. That's what I want. Just like that. So then we'll go here. Um, there, there, and there. Okay. Uh, leave the space. Hang on. Does that go? Does that go there? No. It goes. It goes there. Oi. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that gives us some room there. Um, let's change the floor. And let's go with, uh, oh, let's go with this one. Yeah, that'll work. That's nice. That'll work for a little cafe. A little cafe that we got in there. It's not a cafe, it's a cafe. That's what I'm gonna call it, a cafe. All right, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> it's probably annoying you now. Uh, okay, so refueled that one. Okay, so the refueling is working out fine now, thankfully. I had such an issue with that before. All right, tutorial, yay! Okay, so small airfield is done. Um, you know what? We're gonna move on to the regional airfield probably, probably in the next episode. Because, I mean, I think we'll be able to get some of this done pretty well. I mean, a lot of it's already done for us. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't really think... Uh, let's see. The only thing we need to do, we need to do build desks and seating in the staff room. So we already have seating. Uh, we just need desks. That is an atrocious mess. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Alright, give me a desk. Give me a desk so I can get that in there and we can just get that out of the way, shall we? Let's take, we'll, we'll do this real quick. I don't think this will take us very long. Uh, where is my freaking desk? There it is, office desk. 
Uh, so we'll put, uh, I'll put one there and I'll put another one, say right there. So build destined seating, let's see, hire your staff. So I have everything except for wait for staff to arrive and go to staff room. Um, my staff is already in the staff room, so not entirely sure why that's not checked. See, staff will only man their workstation if there is ongoing job. There's no active job. Your staff will relax in the staff room. Okay. That should already be done. And this is actually done once we get to it. So let's just hire someone. Like, let's hire a ramp agent. Why not? And then we'll, quote unquote, wait for them to arrive and go to the staff room because, you know, we haven't done that already. Uh, tutorial. Wait for staff agent to arrive and go to the staff room. Really? Why are we waiting on that? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand why we have to wait for them to get here and go there when more than likely since they're a ramp agent they're gonna get here and they're gonna go straight to work I'm just saying I don't know I'm not entirely sure where they're gonna come in at either and the other thing that I'm noticing is um, it's all buses that are coming in here we're, we're not having any cars come in which is unusual I don't know. So anyway, you know what? We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Um, this person will, staff will get here whenever. That'll, it'll happen. Um, and then everything else after that is pretty much done. You know, so it shows, so this part of it shows, you know, constructing a terminal, uh, making sure that we deploy construction workers, drag out uh, building foundation, placing a, placing a door, um, Gives us a couple more tips. And then terminal passenger flow. You know, this goes ahead and shows us, you know, that the passengers will check in, then they'll go through security, and they go into their flight. When they come out of the flight, they go out of the exit. Pretty common sense. Um, let's see, build offices and beautify the terminal. Um, doing a staff room, seating, building floors, plants, hiring your staff, which we've done. And this part of it looks at uh, scheduling your flights, so that uh, that goes from that goes into there. So definitely very different, um, different feel of how this was how the setup was done before. Um, I'm really liking this new tutorial that they have. You know, it takes you into just having a small airport and making a little bit of money, getting some general aviation flights in here and then kind of building off of that and going from there. Now, if we look at the next part of the tutorial, that gets us to our international airport, which is pretty much to the point that we're at now. Um, I, again, I still don't know what's happening with this. I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe I need to hire more staff. I don't know. But anyway, that is all we are going to do today. Thank you everyone for joining me. Uh, next episode, probably just going to finish on the tutorials. Uh, you know, we'll do the international airport piece of it um, and see what is going on with that. But then we will also look more in depth into our flights that we're gonna have because we are running low, number one. Uh, and number two, you know, we have these recurring flights, reoccurring flights that happen um, but they only happen for so long and then they're done. Uh, so we will have to look into doing more of those. So, if you haven't hit that little subscribe button yet, please do so. Any comments that you have, please put them down below. Anything else that you want to know about me, go ahead and go to my channel. Check it on out. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.